What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video we're going to be modeling this really cool minimalistic stair in Revit. I saw this image and I thought well that looks really cool and I want to try to recreate that in Revit. Now what fascinated me about this stair is not uh, so much the, kind of the, the elegant look and what got me interested to try to model this in Revit. Uh, it was the carpet. So it has this blue carpet that follows the kind of the spiral of the stair and I thought well it would be cool to try to recreate all of that inside of Revit. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to create this concrete stair with a single support in the middle and then we're going to be creating a carpet that just drapes over that stair. I think it's going to be really fun. I hope you enjoy it and before we get started I would just like to ask you to take a look at my website balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below this video. Uh, there I have a, a whole complete course on stairs and and railings in Revit. Uh, so if you're interested please check it out. Uh, I spend the extra time to go just slowly step by step explaining uh, all of the little tools and options and workflows when it comes to working both with stairs as well as railing in Revit. And also on that website I have over a hundred hours of content and I'm adding more each month. So if you want to subscribe to all of the courses you can do that as well. If you're really serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the place to start. Also, if you want my Revit project files like the stair that we're creating, you can find that on my Patreon page, which is the second link in the description, so just below the video. Check that out as well. And finally, make sure to subscribe and like this video. It helps me out a lot and it also helps promote the video to other people that might want to see it. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let us get started immediately by going straight to models and then let's go to new. Uh, and for the template file, I'm just going to be using my architecture design template. Now, if you want to check out my custom templates, you can find them both on my website, balkanarctic.com. That is going to be the third link in the description. So check it out if you're interested. Anyways, let's just click OK here and then let's let Revit start right up. Uh, so for this stair, uh, first we have to figure out kind of the approach that we're going to be using. So if I just kind of slide this image over here, as you can see, the stair uh, is very wide. Uh, it has uh, kind of the main structural part uh, is in the middle and it's quite wide as well. And the whole stair is made out of concrete. And also here we have this nice little carpet, the blue carpet that kind of follows along. And that's uh, also something that they would like to show how to uh, do in Revit. So let's move this off to the other side and then I'm just going to go here to the south elevation just to check out the elevation levels here. Yeah, I'm just going to drop this down to 300 centimeters. I think it's more than enough. This really doesn't isn't designed to kind of connect very, uh, uh, very high floors. Anyways, now we can go back into level one. And this is where we're going to be placing the stair. Uh, now to make it a little bit easier for me, I'm just going to go here to the reference plane tool and place one horizontal reference plane like this and then one vertical reference plane just like that. Uh, now uh, to create this stair, we have to obviously create a new stair type. So what I'm going to do is uh, go here to the architecture tab, to the circulation panel and then go to the stair tool. Uh, now for the stair, uh, you might be tempted to go to the cast in place stair because it's a concrete stair. Uh, but because of the way that this stair is constructed where that structural part is only in the middle, we actually want to use the assembled stair even though it's concrete. Uh, now for the stair, it doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm just going to go with this. Uh, let's go with this one, the, 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 the most common one. And then let's go to edit stair and let's go to duplicate and let's call this one the minimal concrete stair. There we go. Okay, so once we have done this, uh, we have created a new name. Uh, now let's set up the calculation rules. Uh, now, as you can see, this stair isn't really steep. As you can see, it's quite the steps are quite long and the risers are quite short. So what you want to do here is set the maximum riser height to something like 16 and then the minimum, minimum trap depth to something like 32 which is going to give you that kind of uh, longer uh, step. 
Uh, now also you want to play around with the supports. So for example here we don't want the right and left support so let's check those both to none or set them to none but we do want the middle support. So here it says middle support and then you just want to check that and it's going to say carriage uh, and that's okay we can use that one but I'm just going to go here into edit and that's a separate family which you can duplicate and then let's call it carriage minimal Okay, uh, now here uh, the only uh, change that I'm going to make is the structural depth on run. I'm just going to drop that down to 10 and then for the width, uh, the width you obviously want to make quite large so I'm just going to go with something like 800 centimeters. So click OK. And also, I almost forgot, uh, for the material you want to set that material to concrete. Obviously concrete, let's see. Do we have some nicer concrete? This looks kind of boring. Let's see. Okay, this one looks decent. Okay, let's go with that one. The cast in place gray. Click OK. There we go. Okay, the next step is to go to the actual steps or uh, the run type. So you go to the run type here. Again, we already have a family and let's change that. So let's duplicate that. And then let's call this one the minimal run that's okay uh, now for this one for the materials uh, you want to set them to that concrete material so let's find the uh, concrete cast in place gray and then you can just select it here Control c to copy Control v to paste and then uh, we have it on both of these but actually now that they think about it it doesn't really matter here so here yeah, we can keep it but we're actually not going to have the risers so you just want to go to risers and turn them off no need for those. Uh, and for the threads, we can keep them as is. The thickness is five centimeters, that's okay. Uh, and then here for the nosing length, that's at zero, that's okay. So when it comes to this, this is pretty much all right. So let's click okay, okay again. Uh, and then also it's really important to set up the width uh, to be larger. So let's go with 240 centimeters, just like that. And finally, let's draw that. And because it's a spiral stair, I'm going to go with the full step spiral. And then let's go from here. And then you just go out like that. And then let's make it kind of, yeah, like that. Perfect. And here we have our stair. Uh, now you can go to the 3D view just to double check what that looks like. And this is what that looks like uh, at the moment. Uh, and then also here for the railing, uh, you want to make sure that the railing is set to none because this obviously doesn't have any railing. Okay, so let me just set that to none, hit finish. And this is what we have. Now we seem to have an issue where the uh, middle support didn't show up. Uh, I'm not sure why. So let's uh, select this, go into edit type and let's check that. So that's the carriage minimal. Let's open that up. And I see the problem here, uh, the width of this carriage I've set to 800 centimeters and actually wanted that to be 80. So now when I hit apply and click OK and apply and OK, yeah, there we go. It has fixed that issue and we now do have that carriage. Uh, now it does seem a little bit too thin. So let's go uh, again, select that, edit type. Let's go to our carriage minimal and then let's set this to, I don't know, like 15. This can go down to 40 as it were. I think this is going to fix it. Let's see. Yeah, that now looks a little bit nicer. So there we go. Now we have our spiral stair and it does look really good, but I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's all well and nice, but I want to see how you make that a uh, nice a little, uh, how you make that nice carpet in the middle, the, the blue one. So let's see how we do something like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do for that is I actually have to create a whole separate stair for that. So let me just go here to stair, perhaps go into level one. And then for this stair, we're going to start off with the same one just because of the dimensions. And then let's duplicate that and let's call this one the blue carpet. Okay, uh, so keep the same dimensions. You want to go to supports and uncheck the middle support. And then you want to go here to construction, minimal run. Let's edit that, duplicate this, and let's call this one the blue run. Okay, 
Uh, now for the materials, we want to check both the risers and the treads. And then for the materials, we want to search for something blue. So let's see. So do we have something nice and bluish? Okay, this all looks bad. I don't really know what to use. Is this fabric blue? Doesn't seem blue. Okay, this will not work. Okay, I'm just going to use aluminum and or al aluminum, depending on how you pronounce that. Uh, so feel free to use this, or if you don't want, you can create a separate material. Uh, just in the interest of time, let's go with this one. Again, I'm just going to copy this from here and paste it here. Uh, for the thickness, this is really important. You want to keep the thickness at one on both of these. You don't want to have it slanted. You don't want to have any nosing length. You click OK, click OK again, and now it's time to place it here. Uh, so to place it again, we're just going to be using the whole full step spiral. Uh, for the run width, uh, let's go with 100 centimeters because it's just in the middle, or perhaps 160, I don't know, make it a little bit wider. And then you go out and you place it at the same place. Now, one trick that you can use is just place it like that. And then you want to select that you want to go to rotate and then you want to rotate it by the value of that one centimeter, which is going to be really difficult. But if we just, so if I can only go to the dimension here and go perhaps 0.5 degrees, yeah, that's okay. I think that will work. Perfect. And then also you want to select this thing, select the entire stair, and just give it a little bit of an offset uh, below. So just one centimeter. Now, if that doesn't work, don't worry. Let's go to the 3D view. See, that's what this looks like. Now we want to bring it up a little bit so we can select it and just go here to the properties and give it a base and top offset of one centimeter. And then it's going to go up a little bit. And now we have that cool uh, carpet. So this is what we have. Obviously, you have to continue the carpet on the bottom and on top, but that's uh, for later on. Uh, anyways, here, let's see it in the realistic view. Now here, I have, because of the template, it's set up to have like a nice black and white view. But if I just go here to my view templates and change this uh, to none, I can see this in a realistic and this is what that would look like. And it looks really, really good, it looks really elegant. And it does look similar to this what we have here. Uh, Obviously, you can make some further adjustments. I think this is a little bit shallower, so you could have the steps a little bit longer and uh, and you can play around with that. But I think the end result looks really, really good and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Anyways, uh, tell me in the comment section below, did you enjoy this video? Do you like what I have created? And if you want to learn more about stairs and railing, you can find that on my website, balkanarctic.com. The whole five hour course is linked just below this video. So make sure to check it out and you can check out any of my other courses. I have a lot of content there over a hundred hours of courses so far, and I'm bringing out more each month. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Have a nice day.